but I thought... Listen, you're extremely talented, Matt, but we're giving the promotion to Tom. But... He's Ivy League. Charming. Sober-haired. It'll look good to the clients. Sober-haired? You've known for a long time that you deserve better than us. You know you've been looking around anyway. So, we're gonna do you a favor and let you go today. I just put my condo. I understand how you feel. And if you could be happy working under Tom, we'd keep you on. But we're gonna promote George to take over your group. George? Frank will escort you out. We boxed your stuff last night. It's at reception. Hey, Matt. You can call me in two weeks, let me know you're okay. Why don't you call me in two weeks and tell me I'm okay? At least you still got Amanda. Yeah, about that. Turns out we might have religious differences. Did you discover she's a Wiccan or something? No. She's sort of an atheist. So are you. I don't believe in God, but she doesn't believe in me. She dumped you when she found out about the job, didn't she? <laughs> yes. Everyone okay? Wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> That's what wonderful looks like. I'll stick with mediocre. Is it that obvious? You just need some coffee. I hear it's wonderful. I'd buy that brand of mediocre any day. John, that's Jennifer, our waitress. Oh, she's cute. Well, yeah, I guess. That was my last resume building job, my last practice relationship. I'm ready for the real world. You know, I have money saved. Here, tell me, which one of these things is most likely to get me a girlfriend? One, buy a Lexus and get my ear pierced. Two, buy a Toyota and have my teeth capped. Or three, buy a Kia and have my penis enlarged. Hey, whoa! Never seen that costume before. You guys having a pajama party later? <laughs> No, John signed me up for a yoga class. Hey, be open-minded. June is a friend and a fabulous instructor. Be careful not to overexert yourself. I'd hate for you to pull something. <laughs> Visualize the body that you want to have. what it will look like. I didn't have to imagine it. It was right there in front of me. I bet June has her number. What? Yeah. Let me see if I can get it for you. <laughs> Going. Hey. Uh, do you mind if I sit down? No, go ahead. Sorry, I'm a little early for my shift and they don't like us to clock in early. 
What is that you got there? Anatomy, physiology. What? Yeah, I have a test tomorrow. For what? I'm in the nursing program at UNM. Oh, I didn't know you were in school. Can't stay mediocre forever. <laughs> we got a digits. Oh, cool. Hey, good luck with your test. Yeah, good luck with yours. Let's go. Yeah, hey, this is Matt from Yoga. I got your number from a mutual friend in class, and I was wondering if... Yeah. Anyway, I was wondering if I could take you out on Tuesday. Oh. Uh, June, the yoga instructor? Anyway, I was thinking Tuesday because... Hello? What is your greatest weakness as a boyfriend? I'm a little self-centered sometimes. I leave the toilet seat up. I, um, care too much? Is that the right answer? She was asking me about music, so I said I like progressive. Apparently the right answer was hip-hop. Have you considered lying? I think what you do is fascinating. What a coincidence. I've always wanted to join Greenpeace. Yeah, that didn't work. Hmm. So how do you deal with a client when the requirements are wrong? The requirements are never wrong. I see them as part of the conversation with the client. You know this isn't a management position, right? So why did you leave your last job? I earned a promotion, but they gave it to the Silver Fox. It sounds like you're not quite over that yet, and frankly, we don't want to be a rebound. Sorry, we're looking for more of a long-term commitment. Do you believe in love at first sight? No. Uh-uh. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't do that sort of thing. That's ridiculous. No. <laughs> yes, I do. Love is a chemical reaction caused by the increase of dopamine to the brain. It mixes with norepinephrine to create the feeling of bliss. So do you believe in love at first sight? Is this a test? I hope you're better at them than me. Maybe you just need to study more. Speaking of which, there's a new restaurant downtown. Maybe we can discuss it over dinner. What, like a date? Think you can handle it? So, what did you want to be when you grew up? I didn't. <laughs> I guess that's a fair answer. Um, well, what sort of music do you listen to? Music. I bet you're a smooth jazz type of girl, aren't you? Mm -mm. Classic rock. Oh. What do you like about computers? You strike me as the outdoorsy type. You know, I always wanted to join the Peace Corps. You know, make a difference. Uh, yeah, um, that's not really my thing. Oh, the Peace Corps uses nurses, too. Yes, they do. Yeah, but I think I would want to work somewhere a little bit more stable, like a hospital or a clinic. Oh, that reminds me, I was thinking of donating blood next week. That's great. <laughs> Maybe even a kidney? Or, or a pancreas? Or... Uh, I'd start with blood first. But um, that's generous of you. So, nurse. Um, you know what? Let's let's not talk about work anymore. <clears throat> uh, what kind of sports do you like? I'll bet you played soccer in high school. Am I right? No, no. I uh, I did a semester of swimming. That's not really my thing. I'll get the next one right. Um, ask me something about the arts. This wasn't a test. You know what? Next time I ask you out on a date, why don't you try coming as yourself? I didn't... Wait, did she say next time? doing it.
it again. Quit checking no, your no. phone. I don't understand. She really liked me. We had great communication. You can't fall in love every single time. But it was the perfect interview. Can I just look at my... If they haven't called you by now, they aren't going to. Sheesh. There goes the cream sickle of my life. Unlike you, I don't objectify women. What if I did? <laughs> and she's with the alpha male. Clearly, I'm still in beta. Do you have any hobbies? Goose hunting? Do you work on cars? Well, I can change my own oil. Those are all excellent answers, but you don't really fit my culture. It's not you. It's me. It's not you. It's you. It's you. Oh, it's definitely you. Are you gonna eat that? You have to get your head back in the game. I just hate the rejection. Well, you gotta do something. What I need to do is scrub this welcome mat off of my forehead. Ooh, that sounds painful. Where do you see yourself in five years? What scares you the most about opening your heart to your partner? What do you like to do? For fun. What is the weirdest thing about you? I'm unemployed. If you could have any job in the world, what would it be? You've passed the phone screen and the pre-date, so here's how this works. I'll introduce you to my friends and make sure they like you. Then I'll take you home to meet my dog, Bijou, and get her seal of approval. Kissing is okay, but no tongue. I'll need the names of your last three girlfriends. The background check will take a little over a month, so we'll probably hit the sheets around the 23rd. Then I'll let you know if you're my boyfriend. What is the most annoying thing someone could say to you? I'm asking me to answer that question. Define a successful relationship. Three dates with the same woman. And she kept talking to all the other diners about how great the place was, the food, the wine, the chef. And when I came back from the bathroom, I heard her telling someone that the only reason she went out with me was when she heard where I was taking her. Jeez, what a piece of work. Yeah. The whole experience? It gave me an idea. I'm gonna take that interview for the Seattle job. Really? You're gonna take that pay cut? I know. But I really wanna see the Space Needle. What have you been doing since your last relationship? Job. How do you handle stress? Children. Are you self-motivator? What's your ideal position? Date. Company. What kind of goals do you have in mind if you get this? Relationship. How would you make a significant contribution to this? Relationship. How fast can you come up to speed? Have you accepted Buddha as your spirit animal? Uh, yes? No? Is, that the, is this a test? By what criteria do you judge your own performance? How would you describe your dating style? How would you describe your work style? How do you feel about having children with someone more experienced? Do I believe in love at third sight? Or love at hindsight? I don't know, maybe. No. Tell me 10 ways to use a pencil other than writing. Would you rather fight a horse-sized duck? What kitchen utensil would you be and why? Or a hundred duck-sized horses? If you were trapped in a box, how would you escape that box by thinking outside of the box? Give me 10 strategies to do to smash your face! Hey, come on, man, snap out of it. You're starting to freak everybody out. I would fight the horse-sized duck. <laughs> Frankly, you're starting to freak me out too, all right? Come on, you gotta take a break from all this for a while. Get a hold of yourself. Oh. It's all a blur. I can't tell whether I'm coming or I'm going. You're going. Come on. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Time for a reset. Matt, I'm really glad you came in today. You've done some excellent work. Thank you. We're really impressed at what we see here. I'm sure you'll be hearing from us shortly. I appreciate the opportunity, but I don't think I'm a good fit for the position. Excuse me? I feel like I'd be underutilized here. Maybe, but maybe not. 
Would you give me just a moment? Hi. Hey. I'm sorry, I'm late. That's okay. Were you waiting long? Just a few minutes. What's that? Oh, I should let you know my daughter was sniffling when I dropped her off with the sitter, so I might need to leave a little early. Um, where did you grow up? Born and raised right here. Can I ask when the call's coming? The sitter? Oh, she probably won't call. Look, I know a lifeboat when I see one. Well, my girlfriend will call in about 20 minutes. But what makes you think I'm going to take the call? Well, if you weren't going to take the call, you would have left your phone in your purse. You have a wonderful evening. Wait, can we start over? No. So? Seattle made me an offer. Why would you sell yourself short like that? Actually, they offered me a management position. You're kidding me. <laughs> that, that's, that's great. <laughs> no. Well, congratulations, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> nice work. Well, now what? I'm sure things will work themselves out. Just a sec. Hey. I just wanted to straighten out some things from the other night. <laughs> 